Rev up your engine! It's time for the Scotty Kilmer Kill! Today I'm going to show you how you can balance your own tires. And here's how the saga began. My wife's Matrix needed new front tires, so I went to a discount tire store and bought two new front tires, but when I got the car back, it would shake when I was going 55, 60 on the highway. The steering wheel would shake. So I took the car to my friendly front end guys at Cotton Brothers. They checked it all out and said the only thing wrong was the idiots at the discount tire store had balanced the tires wrong, so they rebalanced them. And then the shaking was gone, but hey, that cost me 70 bucks. So I thought, why not try something with a better idea? So I went out and bought this wheel balancing tool from Harbor Freight Tools, and it cost the 70 bucks it cost me to get them balanced. I thought, why not do it myself? Now, when I was a kid in the 1960s, my father's Texaco gas station, we had a bubble balancer, and it worked perfectly fine. Well, hey, for 70 bucks, this thing works quite well. I use a piece of marine plywood to have a good stable foundation, put the base on that. Then I get the level balancing part and place it on the top. Then you adjust it so the bubble is in the middle. There's screws to adjust it. You turn the adjustment screws until the bubble is exactly in the middle. And there it is right in the middle. Then you get the tire and put it over the top. The spring's automatically adjusted so it fits right. And in this case, you can see this tire is balanced correctly because the bubble is still in the middle. Which doesn't surprise me because the guys at Cotton Brothers balance this tire. But I'm going to take the weight off and show you how you would balance it yourself. Well, take it off and put the tire back on the balancer. And as you can see now, the bubble is off center, so we need to put weights on to make it go in the center and balance the tire. You move the weights around until the bubble goes into the middle, and of course in this case, the old weight was here, so if we put it in the same position, the bubble is now in the middle. Then get some good cleaner to clean it up good, and then put the weights on with their little sticky back glue, and they stay in place. And if you're like me and worried the weights are going to fall off, put a little super glue on it first. So if your car's shaking and your tires need balancing, why not buy one of these little bubble balancers? You might even make some money on the side doing your neighbor's cars. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.